Oh yeah, welcome to this video. Yeah, yeah, uh, uh, yeah. I had requested that game, and uh, then I got a phone call, and uh, then it started, and whatever. It was kind of a mess. Okay. Um. Check. Yeah. Okay. Let's let's stick with what I know. Catalan Bogo territory. Check. That's not exactly what I recommend in my book, but also a playable line. Yeah, we get the fairly typical pawn structure for the for the Bogo Indian. It's um pawns on dark squares and um, black has gotten rid of his dark squared bishop so this is in general a pretty good structure let's see I can go I can have some interesting ideas even this is a move yeah. if he takes I can t I mean capturing with both pieces is feasible pawn takes or bishop takes if he's not taking I have uh, b5 Or some play on the queen side. C6 was also interesting. Maybe the better move actually. Okay, so let's go B5. That was the idea. Just B4. Yeah, gain some space. Let's do that. Hmm. I can take with the C pawn here, right? And knight to C5. That looks inviting. Hmm. That looks very good for black, actually. Where is he going with this? No, I don't think he had C takes before expected. Maybe, yeah, maybe I should have tried knight b5. Okay, and now I can go e4, but I'm not sure about this. I can also improve a little bit more and then do this. h3, okay, it's kind of a nothing move. And here we go. So um, I can start with b3 as well. I don't know, is that the better way to do it? Or just bishop takes. Uh, let's just take with the bishop, that's okay. Hmm, okay, I didn't expect that one. Now I will get I will get this knight c5 idea in. Ultimately, I will have a very strong pawn on on the b file. Yep. So let's push the pawn. One thing though, no, nah, it's not necessary yet. But I need I need uh, some some luft for my king. A g6, h6 kind of move. G6 probably. Um, yeah. Okay. Knight a4. Yeah, the pawn is just uh, doing a home run. Yeah, knight c3 and b2 and so on.
that should be should be the easiest just b to b1 it's a bit of a self pin that move but it doesn't matter i can just promote the pawn White resigns. Yeah, it was a very nice position at one point. That I think. Well, this is all all okay. And here probably probably c six is a bit more more flexible than what I did. But this is not terrible. It's it's a playable move. This one okay, maybe. But now, now that 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 uh, I think here he has to move. Um, he has to move the knight. Knight to b5 was what I was expecting. And uh, this is this is far better because he's looking at the d6 pawn now. And um, I don't want to take. This is not a good idea. This kind of thing. He's got a protected pass pawn, and he has this this opportunity. So after this, I have to play differently. Probably taking is interesting. Even this is a move. Yeah, uh, that's totally unclear. Interesting position. But after that, I'm instantly much better because my knight gets that fantastic c5 square. And um, yeah. And that, that's completely turning the game. Um, I mean, before it was probably in the in the equal, um, somewhat somewhat equalish, but um, here I'm instantly having a huge advantage with multiple ideas. Yeah, and this is this is even helping me. Uh, getting with time, getting the b pawn rolling and so on. I didn't even s needed to spend time on a on a move like h6 and g or g6 to secure my back rank because the b pawn was 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 just too strong just too strong okay well thanks for watching